Hello, good morning or good afternoon, should I say now. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for Monday's trading day, the 1st of August 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignaler.com, and you can download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market direction, let's see exactly where we stand. Okay, so let's see where this market is uh, dictating. So first of all, overnight in Asia, you had the uh, Nikkei certainly finishing higher, the Hang Seng finishing higher as well. Okay, uh, whilst the Shanghai finished down 0.9%. Now it's mainly on the back of concerns of uh, lack of additional QE, okay, or stimulus, given the fact that Chinese data actually came in stronger. Uh, and again, it's potentially perceived as being negative. Okay, percentage perceived, but perceived as being negative. If I bring up the Shanghai index for you, we'll certainly give you an insight here. Okay, so Shanghai certainly coming into cap fill support now, looking for a potential bounce. So be wary of any further shorts there. Okay. The other major factor is the fact that um, the BOJ underwhelmed last week, and yet the USDJPY is moving lower, whilst equity markets are totally ignoring it. We had the uh, S&P 500 and the uh, U NASDAQ certainly making new highs overnight. So we've had the NASDAQ as high as... Uh, as a high as 47.50 and then the uh, the S&P is high as 2182 so again certainly interpreting that as a risk on move in terms of economic data uh, for the remainder or throughout the day this morning we've had um, a PMI data so Spanish and Italian uh, data certainly on the weaker side whilst Germany and uh, Eurozone on the on the stronger side while whereas the French data was certainly flat so again certainly remains okay certainly remains okay no real concerns in terms of a drop in terms of uh, act economic activity, so certainly sustain the status quo. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, the rest of the day, we have the USD uh, US market now. Uh, economic data out, ISM, PMI, uh, prices paid, construction spending again will be important as to the next direction of dollar. UK data certainly came out extremely uh, weaker side. Okay, so again, cause for concern there with regards to UK data. But the theme at present really is bad news equals good news, given the fact that you've had the uh, BOJ, well BOE certainly uh, talking or indicating potential uh, rate cut uh, next move or the next uh, potential BOE meeting, which again should certainly keep the bears at bay and should keep the bulls energized, okay? In terms of uh, the markets now, let's look at the technical picture, okay? The German DAX uh, on the daily chart, you can see that it was into gap fill resistance and certainly has held that gap. 60 minute chart at the moment is into horizontal support now looking for a potential bounce now just for traders uh, going forward look at this hypothetical scenario folks you have a hns formation okay so again don't get excited with this potential bounce any bounce really will be for the right shoulder which will trigger the hns formation that will be in place so again certainly take that into consideration 10 minute chart you can see we flushed we've actually closed the gap the gap by itself was almost 200 points close the gap and actually traded below that as well so we are now back into gap for uh, horizontal support at 10 to 90. if that fails then you have got gap fill support at 10 to 75 and then you have support at 10 to 50. so again those two areas the zones are certainly vulnerable to being closed so again keep an eye on that folks okay in terms of the french gap let's bring up the french gap for your daily chart certainly gap fill resistance uh, as you can see here european markets are not following the us markets they're certainly diverged even with us markets making new highs overnight European markets aren't interested at all. Okay, so again, into horizontal support and looking for a potential bounce in the 60 minute chart. 10 minute chart, you're into horizontal support and again, looking for a potential bounce, folks. Okay, so keep an eye on that. In terms of the FTSE 100, uh, the 10 minute chart you can see here is into gap fill support or horizontal support on the FTSE. Certainly looking to bounce here now on the FTSE 100. 60 minute chart, again, you did have this potential HNS formation that I was trying to play in the morning. But again, that has been negated with the pivot high at 6770 in the back of stronger Chinese data. So for now, I'm just going to be taking that as a potential double top scenario or a lower high. And again, treat it as such. OK, uh, in terms of the 10 minute chart, or should I say the daily chart, of FTSE 100 certainly put it, putting in a potential topping tail, hanging man type candle. We've been sort of uh, trading sideways here now for quite a few days. Uh, again, whether or not we can actually break down and start the leg lower is certainly a, a question to uh, uh, has yet to be answered okay for now just trading sideways stronger chinese data out overnight uh potential uh, weaker gdp friday again leaves interest rates weaker uh for the oh, well certainly prospect of interest rates are, are, are certainly not there or, or, or cannot be materialized and therefore a weaker dollar should certainly keep the FTSE uh, afloat okay again there could be very various uh, other 
arguments again you have the qe argument for the footsie as well so whether or not the weaker g weaker data especially this morning is going to lead to a potential rate cut which in turn is helpful for the economy and therefore the footsie 100 will certainly move high certainly move higher so again this is the FTSE 100 chart okay last but not least euro stocks let's just bring the euro stocks for you okay so euro stocks chart at the moment daily chart you can see it's holding that diagonal trend line and continuous bearish uh, pattern 60 minute chart is into horizontal support looking for a potential bounce 10 minute chart you had horizontal support and gap fill so again both indicating a potential move higher so again bias or, co or conclusion really here is that you are looking for a move higher and you are looking for a rally in equities okay uh, how long that lasts how far it can sustain itself is again another question it will be dictated by the nasdaq and the s p based on the fact that they can make or continue with their sustained move higher with these higher highs and higher lows that we're witnessing okay i think that's a market wrap then be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that potential bonus goodbye now